Hello, everybody. We are live again at the Pace Studios with the War and Treaty, all the way from Albion, Michigan, by way of Nashville most recently. But thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so you're going to share with us three songs today off of Healing Tide, which is coming out next week. Um, and so pre-congratulations on that. Thank and you. Uh, Yeah, can you tell us a bit about the first one that you're going to do? Yeah, this first one's called Jeep Cherokee Laredo, and uh, we wrote it actually traveling up and down uh, 95, actually <laughs> coming to New York from Baltimore. Yeah. And um, our vehicle had broke down. It was just me, my wife, and, and our baby at the time. He was probably about two. And... We were waiting for AAA to come and get us, and it was just the windows were fogging up and stuff, and people were assuming other things. <laughs> um, but yeah, it'd have been yeah. a much different song. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is this is what we came with while waiting. All right, love to hear. It. Yes, sir. Guess I put my foot right in my mouth. Oh, oh, oh. hey, oh, yeah. Try to be quiet, but I had to shout. Oh, oh, oh. hey, oh. <laughs> I hear you at my door trying to listen. Oh. Great. Thank you for sharing that with us. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. And so everybody who is at the Newport Folk Fest knows about you now after your performance there. And mm -hmm. uh, you had a bunch of dates coming up. There's a uh, Rockwood Music Hall here in New York, uh, yes. stage two at 830 tomorrow night. And then Pickathon this week. We got a lot of a lot of ground to cover. Pickathon in Oregon this weekend. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then and there's there's tons of dates. Everybody can check it out at the war But um, that's that's out so congratulations on having played Newport I and mean, that place is important oh historic amazing and magical thank you it was yeah. amazing <laughs> how was it how was how was Newport this weekend I uh, didn't go it was amazing I mean 
to use the word amazing, it just seems so regular. It was just really spiritual and moving, and the people were incredible. Just the, the camaraderie with the other artists. It was just a lot absolutely of togetherness. beautiful. It was dope. Yeah, man. it really was. And we got a chance to sing on stage with like some amazing folks. Yeah. I mean, last minute thing, and you know, uh, starting with like Brandy Carlisle. She found out that we were there, and um, next thing I know. <laughs> Yeah. We're on stage singing with her and yeah. the Lone Bellow and the Watson and one twins. one of Michael's and... dreams came true. We oh. ended up meeting Glenn Hansard and getting on stage and singing two songs we with him. We sang Mercy with him. So and... that was like... Yeah. And then we, we joined <laughs> the, everybody at the end yeah. and, and sang um, Freedom Highway with Mavis Staples. Yeah. That's, yeah. That was awesome. And then they had to cart me away because I passed out. No. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so coming up, if you're in the New York area, uh, tomorrow night at uh, at Rockwood Music Hall, stage two, you can catch them. And there's uh, stay tuned uh, to thewarrentreaty.com. Make sure you check back as more dates are announced. But uh, Pickathon gets you next. Yeah. yeah. Um, so can you, you're going to do three songs today. We just did one off of Healing Tide. You're going to do three. Can you tell us a bit about the second one you're going to do? Yeah. Um, the second one's called Hearts. Maybe you want to elaborate, baby. On well, when Michael and I met, you know, we were both coming from our own different backgrounds and different situations. And it's like our hearts met first, you know, and, and the song really just talks about whether you're together or whether you're apart or whether you're tested in relationship, how you can find each other's heart. Wherever there's love, you'll find it. It'll come back to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On this road I've learned Doesn't make sense without you Without you and I would rather be a passenger On the moving train If it meant I'd be next to you huh. By the skin of my teeth Hairs on my head, I be lost in. I didn't have you. Just a ball of confusion, a life left in void. That's what I'd be without you. <laughs> because right would be wrong if we spent time alone. Separate in the dark With the light still left on It wouldn't do much To try to keep our love apart Cause we find each other's hearts Hearts, hearts Ah. Uh. 
That sounds amazing. Really, thank you so much thank for coming you. and sharing Thanks, these please. and sharing what you have with the rest of the world. It looks like <laughs> nobody on the earth is having as much fun as you two are having <laughs> right now. It looks great. It sounds great. So really, thank thanks you. for sharing. Thanks. Um, can you tell us a bit about so how, how this album came together? I mean, I know that it was recorded at, at Buddy Miller's home studio in Nashville, and I know it's the guest vocal appearance from Emmy Lou Harris. Oh, and yeah. I mean, the, how much of this do you feel is an Albion, Michigan creation? How much of it is in more Nashville? I would, I would imagine that both things, both places sort of rubbed off on it, but um, do you see more, one place more than the other in this album? I don't see places at all. It's, it's so amazing because... Um, well, when Buddy Miller sat down with us, he said, you know, I want to do a story. But the story that I want to tell is the, the true, honest story from your lips, you know. And so <clears throat> what you're hearing is just truly not places, but relationships, you know, and, and not just tying eyes relationship, but our journey as we walk through, you know, uh, you'll you'll just hear kind of those those the attitudes of the different relationships we've encountered and uh, this this whole record is about pretty much challenging us as the human race to really come together. And, you know, it's so cool because you, you pull different musicians from different walks of life. I mean, as you mentioned, um, the legendary, powerful Emmylou Harris uh, came and sang. And it was so unique because she came on my birthday and she had just come home, literally just landed from London and then she zipped to her house to make brownies for my birthday, to bring them to the stash, to the session. You know, that's that's hearts. You know what I'm saying? Sam Bush shows up and he he lends his his heart and Jim Hulk and Russ Paul and um, different people. Adam Chaffins, you know, Brady, uh, um, Brady, <laughs> Brady, crazy Brady. Yeah. <laughs> but um, this is the story we wanted to tell, and we didn't want anybody to listen to it and. and and feel like they had to put it in any kind of box, you know, just listen to it. And if it applies to your life, it applies to your life. If it doesn't, it just doesn't. Yeah. Well, it sounds outstanding, really. I appreciate you guys coming and sharing these songs with us. Thank so, you. And you're going to do one more off of Healing Tide, which if you're just joining us right now, Healing Tide is coming out on August 10th, yes. uh, coming out next week. So congratulations in oh, advance on you. that. Uh, coming out next week, and so we're hearing a, a little a little preview from the album right now. And I know one single is out right now, but the the full album is out uh, August tenth. Yeah. Yes. Um, and so, can you tell us about the third one you're going to do? Well, Hill and Todd is it speaks to just what I was saying. Um, the the question, you know, I mean, I remember sitting down in in my living room, I'm in my recliner, and just watching the news, of course, like all of us do, and then. Uh, just asking, you know, where's the Dr. Kings? Where's the Gandhis and the Mother Teresas of our world? Where are they? Who's next? 
And I just heard my conscience say, well, what if I told you you'd be the one? <laughs> you know, and, and it just puts the responsibility on all of us. There, There is no one particular person that's next. We all are. And that's the cool part about it. You know, it was only one Dr. King, but look how many of us he left to push this thing on. So um, healing tide is just a question, just saying if there was a big old tidal wave of healing that was going to wash over all this stuff, would you want to be a part of that? And that's what healing tide is. What was that quote? That I'm going to butcher it, but it's something I think it's associated with with Gandhi. The You need to, to be the change that you want to see enacted in the yeah. rest of the world. Yeah. Something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you know, we, we also came up with our, our, our a thing yesterday where uh, we said love is the key to life that is never out of tune. Yeah. Boom. Always in time, man. That's the goofy moment of me. All right. Yeah. So. That's nice. All right. We'd love, we'd, we'd love to hear it, though. <laughs> this is Heal the Time. Let's go, Max. <laughs> So the Paste audience knows, the Newport Folk Festival knows, and Pickathon is about to know, Rockwood Music Hall is about to know about <laughs> you, and that was a total pleasure. The thank Warren you. Treaty, thank you so much. Thanks. Michael, Tanya, Max for coming through and playing. Thank you. Um, if you're just joining us, Healing Tide is the album that's out next week. It was recorded at Buddy Miller's house. 
guest vocals by Amy Lou Harris. Um, all the tour dates are up at thewarrentreaty.com. So uh, please do go check it out. And thank you for coming by and playing. Thank you. Thank Travel safe. So and uh, hopefully we'll see you again here at the studio sooner than later. Yes. Thank you. All right. <laughs>